Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and in this video I'm going to take a run through the Key Stage 1, that's the Year 2 SATS arithmetic paper, but I've done a walkthrough previously of this paper on the channel, so today I'm just going to take you through all the fraction questions and how your child might be able to attempt them. So, let's begin. If we open up the paper, it's going to look like this when your children get it in Year 2. Um, I'm going to skip through the addition questions. I'm going to skip through the subtraction questions and the multiplication questions because today I'm just going to show you how you can help your child answer the fraction questions. Okay, and the first one that we see is on this page, we've got this question here, a quarter of eight. Now, in year two, the children are just getting used to the concept of fractions. So we have, we have a way of teaching the children how to do this. Essentially, uh, we're looking to make eight into four parts and then count how many parts one of those parts is. So if I'm saying to the children that this four here is like sharing eight between four people, we use the number at the bottom, the denominator, to draw four groups. And this is what the child would do in the test. Then I, when you would say to them, right, a quarter of four means that we need to share eight into four groups, and then the numerator tells us how many of those groups to count. So 8 divided into 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I have 8 sweets there, I've shared them into 4 groups, and I'm just going to be counting one of those groups, because the numerator tells me that I just need one. How many is in one of those groups, you would say to the child, and they can see there that there are two. So that is the method that we would teach them in year 2. And that's how to solve number 20, the first fraction questions on the arithmetic paper. It is a quarter of eight. If we turn over, we get another question. Now, this one was a tricky question, I thought, quite harsh, really. But um, it's another one that came up on my channel because um, I did a walkthrough of this paper and I didn't go through this question. So I'm going to go through it now. A half of 90. Now, Again, we would say to the children, draw two groups because you want to share 90 into two groups. But as we know, it doesn't share out equally. So we would draw two groups and then we would say to the children, well, what's 90 made up of? It's made up of nine tens. Now, when I've taught in year two before, we represent a 10 like this as a line because it's what what's... Uh, a representation of the Dean's blocks, one line of Dean's like this is a 10. So that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Okay, but what we want to do is we need to share these out. So I'm going to share 10 over here and 10 over here and cross them out as we go. 10 over here and 10 over here, cross them out as we go. 10 over here and 10 over here, cross them out. 10 over here and 10 over here cross them out. So that leaves, we've shared out, what have we shared out so far? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. 40 in there and 40 in there. We're left with 110. So how are we going to share that out? Well, you could say to the child, what is this 110 made out of? It's made out of 5 and 5. And you could get them to draw it out like this. Now, if we know the 10 is made out of 5 and 5, then we can put 5 in this box. And we can put 5 in this one. So what's the total when we look at it this way? Well, when we share out 90 into two groups equally, we've got 10, 20, 30, 45 here. 10, 20, 30, 45 here. And you would say to the child, we just need to know what one of those groups is. Because if I was sharing out 90 sweets between me and my partner, we would each get 45. And that would be the answer. Okay. Next fraction question is this one. Two quarters of 36. Going through the same process, this number here tells us how many groups we need to share it into, which is four. One, two, three, four. So we share out the 36 into those four groups. Five, thirty-six. Okay, and if we look carefully here, how many do you have in each group? 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine in one group, but this time we're not looking for one group. We would say to the child, we're looking for two quarters, which would be two of these. So that's one quarter. We're looking for two groups. So I'm going to draw another big circle around two of those groups, which would be nine and nine. And the answer would be 18. OK, so to follow it as a step by step process, this tells us how many groups we're sharing it into. One, two, three, four. Draw the groups, share out the 36, share it out amongst those groups. And the numerator tells us how many groups we need to count. So we've got nine and nine, meaning that two quarters makes 18. That was the final uh, fractions question on the arithmetic paper. Um, there may be similar questions on the paper this year, but that's how to solve them. Thanks for watching.